right, folks, and welcome to episode two of Vigilantes here. Now, quick disclosure, I lost about an hour of footage because I ran out of hard drive space without realizing it. So I was playing through the first hour of the game to catch up at the same point. And um, it turns out the game is actually more procedurally generated than I realized because you don't get your companions in the same order that you did. I was planning on playing up to the DeSoto encounter again and then starting up the Let's Play again. However, I've just finished with the Russian like van driver encounter and instead I've come across this one. So we're just going to jump back into the game at this point. My stats might be slightly different. I'm not too far behind where you last saw, but I do have a little bit more understanding of the game's mechanics now because I did play it an hour or so more after you last saw me before realizing I'd run out of hard drive space. So, with any more, without any more uh, preamble, to arms brethren, the Lord of Flame is upon us. The terror in the cultist's voice gives it enough edge to cut sheet metal. Another churcher piles out of the garage as if their life depended on it. Lord of Flame, huh? Doesn't feel like you've put a big enough dent in church operations to merit the name, but it sounds neat. It's something you could get used to. The church appoints, not to you, but to a man in a high visibility jacket who is frantically manipulating a device attached to the garage wall. Hurry, we gotta stop him. So it turns out you're not the Lord of Flame. Can't help but feel slight disappointment. Would look great on your CV. If this guy's bothering the churches, that puts you on the same side of the line. He's evidently good at it, so it makes sense to get acquainted. What's the worst that could happen? Distract the churches. You step out from your hiding spot. Whoa, what's the hurry, friend? My name's Pastor Joseph Bibbs, and I'm here to ask you a question. Have you been saved by the Lord of Flame? Nice try, but I'm not falling for that one again. Pastor Joseph Bibbs, I don't want any more jazz albums. They irritate my cat. Go away. The churches are already panicking off balance. The surprise at your unexpected appearance pushes them further towards losing the initiative. Which, what the? Uh, we're not gonna. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll take that cover. Uh, we'll move this guy one step closer as well. Now I do like. So I have actually used this guy very, very briefly because um, I found him in the second episode where I lost the footage. I'm just going to move him up a little bit closer so we can move in for the uh, baseball bat next round. But then we are going to get out our handy dandy handgun here, the Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty. Which I think we're actually a little bit worse with than last time you saw me. And we have a little bit more of the presence skill. Looks like we can actually uh, run up on this guy. Oh, but he evaded. Well, I guess we'll 90% uh, shot here. Damn, we are uh, really beating the odds. This is the most non-lethal encounter I think I've ever seen in this game. Nobody is putting in a good showing here. Wow, that is truly impressive. 95%, come on, there it is. Oh, this should probably finish this guy off. Yep, there he goes. We found 14 euros. Move him out the way. I know it doesn't actually block a line of sight, but it just feels like common sense to move someone out of your line of fire. Huh. Pretty decent shot there, and then she's just gonna run up and get clobbered. Nice. On closer inspection, you realize the man is wearing a Riker City Fire Department jacket. This just keeps getting weirder. The churches really don't like you. I'd like you to tell me why. I'll show you. Just give it a sec. The ground shakes, your ears pop, and you are instantly bathed in a wave of heat that evokes images of sun-baked pyramids. The Lord of Flames does not flinch. He's talking to you, but his attention is firmly fixed on his handiwork. Name's Edgar. The council must have sent you a support. Have they provided you with any details on my next assignment? Hold up. Details on your assignment? The council? Oh, you're not from the council. Plausible deniability. I like that. Edgar offers you a theatrical wink. Sure, you don't know anything about the Council of Earth Defenders, you know, the ones protecting the Earth from a de devastating alien invasion. I've been destroying the outposts of their human agents for months now. They're sending out signals from these places to an alien god from another dimension. Aha. Uh -huh. The aliens have to, like, triangulate the signal or something. If they do it, it's goodbye Riker City and goodbye Earth. A deep sadness comes over you. This man should be getting help, not fighting for a fandom cause. In practical terms, you aren't going to be able to persuade him to stop or get help. 
until you can connect with them. For the time being, it would likely be safer for everyone if you can keep an eye on him and rein in the worst excesses of his behaviour. And just like that, we now have a crazy, bat-wielding, I'm guessing former firefighter, on our side. Ooh, we got a nice little switchblade there. And some more ammo. Nervous? What? With the low spectral moon watching me through the unfinished roof's wooden ribs? And the jerry can juddering in my grip? And a scent of gasoline in the air? Yes! Very nervous. I stopped. Or maybe something stopped me. I chuckled. Chuckled deliberately. Deliberately, though at what I can no longer remember. Set about splashing petrol on the wood and waste high masonry. A match snagged the abrasive patch. And before I could set it to task, my fingers gave way. I watched, mesmerized, as the twisting, devouring thing I had created swept toward the derelict house. Still and nervous. I remained still and nervous as I took in the blaze, probing myself with a tingle of pleasure that would damn me. While I noted that fire has an aesthetic all of its own, my appreciation was purely intellectual. Like that of a connoisseur for a pretty painting. Not visceral. Not emotional. And thus I was sane. I chuckled again. More heartily this time. For I had once more proved, through rigorous and scientific experimentation, that I was not a pyromaniac. That seems like some solid evidence-based science to me. You must reassign team members to your assault team. That's because we just did the uh, gathering mission. Like I say, my stats might be slightly different from last time you saw them because of the uh, quick reboot we had to do. I didn't spend any cash because I wanted to have you guys here for that. We're going to buy the firing range, which is 600. It takes 24 hours to build. I'm going to turn off those tutorials. That will just give us some slight stat boosts and um, give us a level 1 firing range in our warehouse base, which is pretty dope. So, actually, before we uh, before we jump back out, let's go to our team here and assign these guys. Oh, assign. So they're both ready and willing, ready to go. Let's uh, let's find out something about District D One, the suburbs. The Church of the Final Exodus are active here. Danger level of three, so we're going to avoid this for now. I'm not sure exactly how the scale goes, but I know that um, 3 is pretty dangerous, at least at our current level. So we have the Mafia here. Danger level 3, damn. We are just... Uh, uh, danger level 0, so there's no criminal elements there. We have the Survivalists here. New stock available in the shop. Danger level 3. It turns out that... Uh, It's dangerous around here. So we're going to uh, try and look for some allies. None there. Let's see who we get this time. We are going to investigate. Hmm. That tooltip was good to know. Okay. I'm not sure if we did this one last time or not, so I'm going to go through it as if we haven't. The coldest watch the sports car swing in in an abandoned lot and come to a stop. The door swings open. Out steps a fender bender blonde as she strides towards the churches. You can almost swear you can hear a squealing sax monologue resting on a down tempo jazz beat. The first church looks almost as friendly as a rabid doberman. The hell kept you. Traffic. The second church is more serene, within a, which, in your experience, means more dangerous. It matters not, brother. She's here, and we are here, and our sacred task will soon be complete. You have something for us? Sure. Got something for me? Broadly speaking, yes. How about specifically speaking? Specifically speaking, beating the crap out of you would really make my day. We assumed, given the quantity of product we are purchasing and the spiritual nature of our venture, you would be willing to provide a discount. Not feeling very spiritual today? How about you get me some of that Elysium you guys used? That's what you want this stuff, right? To make Elysium? 
The cultist seems to forget his hosti uh, hostility, perhaps for the first time in his life. He's actually in a position to answer a question. Yeah, we... What do you know of Elysium? Heard that it kicks like a mule and courses through the blood for hours. Sounds like a party, but impossible to source. So how about it? Switch up. She's not a dealer. Not too many journalists with a death wish and a spare case of product lying around. A knock and operating without backup. At least any kind she's aware of. We don't got any on us. We get some every... My brother is trying to inform you that Elysium is only available to the faithful. She hesitates, knows she's pushing it. Maybe I could be persuaded to be spiritual. What's it take to get in? We came here to discuss business, yet your interest is directed very specifically elsewhere. You leave us no choice but to search you for a recording mechanism. Rest assured, if there is none, no harm will come to you and our business can proceed. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go firearms and open fire on the churches. You draw, aim, fire. The shot connects, but not as well as you'd hope. The church roars and charges. 81% chance. Yeah, we'll do it. It might give us, it gives us some experience, I believe. So we're going to move back and up one. We're going to move her back and down one. So she also has a gun. We're going to take it pointed at 62, 60, 74. Let's go for this woman. None of them are in range of the, uh... Explosive barrel, that's a solid shot, but it's all she's got time for. Gonna bring us to us. What's our chances? 73. Oh, that's an attack. What's our chances now? Significantly less. No, not that much less, but we'll see if we can finish this woman off. Nice. Now, she probably doesn't have a line of sight on this guy. No, let's see if we get to there. Getting on it. How about now? No line of sight, okay. What if we snap? We can get another sh Getting short on it. distance. No line of sight, so she might as well move up Getting in on the it. unlikely scenario that we miss. Or the more likely scenario that he survives. Oh. I cannot imagine that that is a pleasant experience, being uppercutted with a hammer. But victory is ours. Easy enough, these initial encounters. We got the hammer that just nearly brained us. A nice machete. Some medical supplies and crafting supplies. Know how much paperwork you get to ink for drawing your gun on a criminal trying to punch your ticket with a barrel full of buckshot? Enough to make you move to narcotics division, that's how much. <laughs> Narco. Where the leash is longer and the hands more lax, but still holding you back. <sighs> As criminals go, these cultists are a new kind. We bag some in a sting operation and they clam up like nothing you've ever seen. The stick fuels their sense of religious persecution, and the carrot doesn't work, because they're as happy in a jail cell as on the deck of a cruise ship. A few Elysium free days later, and they arrive at the comatose punchline of withdrawal. Complete zone out. Have to be drip fed, and if they come to, it's with retrograde amnesia. Working on a theory that they're connected to that whacked out church of the final exodus. Based on what little we can get cultists to tell us, there appear to be ideological parallels between the organizations. Huh. Maybe the cultists are an under-the-rug militant wing. Anyway, I've requested admission records for the church's rehab facilities to cross-check with arrests, but... Their formidable legal team is stonewalling. Gah, gotta be a better way to blow a hole in their organization. Alright, so we now have another team member. I can't remember if we got her last time. I don't think we've leveled up at all. But uh, we're going to add her to our team. So add team, add team. Got to remember to do that after you recruit new people. So we have a fugitive army officer, a firefighter. I don't know how accurate that actually is. And a narcotics officer. Looking like a pretty solid team so far. So let's see if we've got anywhere more in our... Uh, what's our... Okay, so... Danger level 1 here, the Mafia. Don't think we have any more leads on potential allies. So we are going to hit this level 1 zone, get some practice in with our dudes. There's not much going on here, but I would just like to uh, go kill some Mafia guys, pass some time. We're not going to bother repositioning. We don't, uh, I don't feel like we require 
more of an advantage than we have. 43% shot, not amazing. But solid enough connection because apparently Kaya is just that good. She has a cop, so it makes sense that she knows how to handle a gun. Yeah, I'm on it. That guy's just nuts. I would just not like to meet him yeah. in a dark or well lit alley. I think either way is going to be very unfortunate for me. 46% chance it's worth it. That's a miss. Unfortunate, but not unexpected. Get our handgun out again. Let's see, what are we looking at? 45%? I will accept those odds. Oh well, time for these guys to run at us. Oh, that was very unfortunate placement on his part. Oh, I didn't notice you. 59%, let's take it. Miss, very unfortunate. Well, I think we know what uh, this guy's going. Now, he has his bat, but he also has his fist, which are only 3 AP for an attack, so if we do a full round on this guy, we can really put out some damage, because he is just an absolute monster in close combat. 66%, we'll take that. Solid connection there. Not much more we can do, though. On to us. 50% chance there, 45, 68, or 54. I think we're just going to try and wipe this woman out. Nice, found some euros. Is that man legitimately taking cover behind an explosive barrel? I feel like there's a flaw in his logic somewhere. Oh. Well, let's uh, start working on this woman, I guess. Solid connection. Get out the bath. Hopefully finish her off. Yep, nicely done. Hoping to finish her off as well, but no joy. Let's see. If we were to snap, we could move one. We might as well turn around and try and help that side. Nice. We gained a level. Oh, wow. She's uh, quite a distance away. I think by the time she gets here, she's going to be too late to help any of her buddies. Nice, solid, uh, solid work here on Kaya's part. She is just putting out consistent okay, high damage. Boss. Oh, we can't yeah, attack diagonal it. through cover. Good to know. We can walk on the corner and do yeah, that and I'm walk on. back, though. Ah, uh, well, you might as well take a shot over this direction. Solid. Solid work on pretty much everyone's part here. We're going to run around to the right. side in anticipation of this person running around the corner next turn. Which of course means they've turned around. We might have to go out hunting these guys now. Our defensive position having uh, paid off quite heavily. Getting on it. We'll run yeah, to that I'm side on. so we can dash up next turn. Get these two running up this alleyway. Yeah, we are quite slow. We might increase our uh, speed stat with our level up. Getting on it. Let's just get these guys running up this alleyway. It's going to take them a, a hot minute to get into combat, I think. Yeah, I'm on it. Can we move the camera? We can. Nice. Good to know. So yeah. we can pop round. 62% worth the ticket. Yeah, well. We've had some good shots over the past couple of rounds, so we can't grumble right. too much about the XCOM odds. That woman is very confused or is just very passionate about jogging. We might as well get out Getting here ready for next turn. We can get up to here, get in her business, and then just give her a quick love tap. Nice, Plexus Strike. That um, is a close combat maneuver that reduces AP of the people you hit, I am fairly sure anyway. 55%. Luckily, there is no friendly fire, so we can just pop out and take our shot. Nice. 16 more euros. What are our chances over there? Probably minimal. 
40%. We might as well take it. Now, what's our plan? Just to stand behind there. Honestly, don't blame her. Probably would be doing the same in her position. But we're going to run out Getting this side it. and start working on the flank for next turn. Yeah, I'm on it. Meanwhile, these two can just, with uh, volume of fire, keep attempting to hit her. Wow, this guy has hit a bunch of 35%. So I'm fairly sure he's some kind of Russian bullet wizard. Oh, I guess we did the same. We're learning his wizardry tricks. Oh, nice. You've located an enemy with the right balance of broken bones and consciousness to work over. Time to get stuck in. So we're going to do this. We have a large amount of presence. You see, uh, I don't think anyone else has the presence we do. Take a look. Yeah, nobody else is even close to us on this regard. So we're going to push for survivalist intel so we can keep our 54%. We're going to go with our firearms because we're better at it. 63% chance. We don't have any uh, truth serum. Done all you can. You could keep at it until he free hell freezes over, but you aren't going to break them. A sucker punch renders them unconscious. You cable tie their arms and legs and leave them for the police. Unfortunate, but uh, that's just the way the dice rolled this time. Let's see, we got some ammo, some hammers, some pistols, a machete, some medkits, and $250. Not bad. So, successful briefing and our firing range has been completed. I think what we're going to do now, we're going to head to the shop. We're going to sell items, and something I learned last time, not sure if I learned this in time for... Uh, Yeah, in time for the last episode ending from your perspective. But selling items to the shop will slowly increase its level. We want to keep that switchblade because it's somehow better than the machetes, I think. Yeah, six damage there versus seven damage there. And it's super light too, like three AP for a strike is pretty good. So we'll probably use that as our backup weapon. Seeing as it uses the same amount of um, AP as punching, but lets you uh, do a bit more damage. So we're going to close these windows, and if you look, the shop level is 1, but when we sell them all these things, it's increased by about a third. So, good to keep that in mind, you can level up your inventory that way. Didn't sell this handgun, because it's slightly better than the ones we've been finding. I think it's the one we have, I'm just going to double check. Uh, this is our inventory screen here, yep, that's the handgun we have. Let's just make sure everyone else has at least this handgun. Yep, they do, except this guy, but he's melee, so that's not an issue. But do we, would we rather have him with a knife? Is, that is a small, that has got like a small amount of damage. But um, that's not, a, not an issue that we're too worried about just yet. Let's go back to the cityscape. Have we found any more ally rumors yet? We have not. In that case, I think we're just going to pick a random district that we don't have any intel on. And start scanning it. Church of the, oh. What just happened? Do we accidentally attack this place? I think I did. Well, that was a misclick on my part. Looks like uh, there's quite a few people up there. We did manage to reposition, so we are going to take advantage of that. Ish. Oh, we can't reposition to the tile we were on. Well, there we are. Let's see how many people we're dealing with here. Are these all enemies? Yes, these are all enemies. So I guess we're just going to step Getting on it. around. Go for a full shot. 45%. These guys have a long distance to run. Jesus. Well played. That was a solid shot. Kaya becoming like MVP here. We'll have um, the Lord of Flame just hang out on the side and wait for the melee engagements. We might as well take advantage of our range and cover. Start laying down fire. 44%. Probably not going to get this one, but never mind. The Russian Bullet Wizard strikes again. We should really put a weapon in our... Oh, our weapon's actually uh, significantly damaged, it seems like. No line of sight. We can't step out. Okay, well, we'll go behind this, then. Looks like a lot of melee weapons. A lot of melee weapons. I'm not seeing too many environmental hazards to use to our benefit. So it looks like this is going to be purely volume of firework. We do have a grenade. We have an incendiary grenade on the Lord of Flame. And we might have to use it. But we'll have to see. 62%. Let's see if we can drop one. Nice. First one down. 14 euros. 
Lord of Flame. How far can you throw this grenade? Too far out. Well, we'll just end your turn then. You can wait a turn. Let's see, what are your chances here? 48%. Is the Russian still bullet wizarding? I didn't see if that hit. I don't think it did because that's her six hit points there. Seeing a lot of cleavers here. I don't think I've seen a single firearm yet, but I have seen empty handed people, which usually means they're going to take out firearms. Let's see, if we move Getting forward with our 2 AP, can we then. No, still no line of sight. Uh, is that. Enter Overwatch, awesome. Now can you throw your grenade that far? Range, 0%. What does, does that mean that you just won't throw? Nope. What if we move you forward one? Will you then... Nope, still won't do it. Um, switch to throw mode. Nope, still won't. Uh, I'm not sure how grenades work yet. I've never used one. Let's just keep trying to shoot people. 69%. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. We have no line of sight. Which, I guess, just means time for Overwatch. Nice. Solid hit there. Looks like Kaya missed, though. So hopefully this turn we'll be able to get that incendiary grenade off. And if not, we'll just get the Lord of Flames in with his baseball bat to cover for uh Can't do it. Cover for our Russian, whose name I can never remember. I I I'd taken to call him Dimitri last time. Okay, so he actually missed just now. We are gonna take out his baseball bat and just move him yeah, right I'm there. Get in there, Grill. He has no AP left, but he should be able to just be a, a distraction in front of people. 81% here. Let's take that. Solid. Critical. Let's see now. Uh, you're still alive, but a 95% shot should finish you off. Well, this guy's just solid in melee combat, so... He should be okay lasting a round or two. Now this fire hazard will stay for a couple of rounds and anyone who goes into it will get a damage over time inflicted upon them. So it's really not a great thing being in there. See, we're on Kaya right now, so let's go for our 75%. That's a miss, super unfortunate. Not much we can do about it though. Just brain this guy. I do quite like the melee animations. That heavy thud when you crack someone with a baseball bat is Oddly satisfying. 92%. Take that, brother Kravik. Let's see now, we have a 77% on system boost. Oh, no. Just because we're trying to kill each other doesn't mean you have to be insulting about it. Chivalry is dead, folks. Let's uh, see if we can finish this one off. Nice, solid first uh, first hit. Ooh, evaded. Well played. Well then, let's just go for a, uh, a quick love tap. Yeah. Brilliant song about losing my religion by R.E.M. A handgun's not doing us fantastically well here. I did actually get a rifle on the, uh, the, other, the missing episode and found out some useful things about rifles. They suffer some pretty severe um, range penalties when you get close, so something to keep in mind when we get our, our next one, when we get a new one. Looks like things are all but resolved here, because these guys didn't have a single ranged attack, we've just slaughtered them on their way in. I think that's the end of his turn, but should be the end of uh, Sister Irvin as well. And then last but not least, the Execution. Oh, nice. 
You locate an enemy with the right balance of broken bones and consciousness to work over. Time to get stuck in. So we're going to go with us again. 61% now because our presence, presence is awesome. We're going to press for Mafia Intel. Uh, play Russian Roulette. Don't miss the sodium that we don't have. Interrogate. Nice. Your new friend is well enough connected to know a thing or two about the workings of the Mafia. It's a good chance to get intel on the gang's leadership or rackets. Well, let's look for Pete Esposito. Sister Irvin reveals a physical description of Pete Esposito, a Mafia lieutenant. One step closer to getting a dangerous criminal off the streets. I think at this point we're a dangerous criminal. Failure. Success. Oh, we got like five machetes. Jeez. And a couple of medpacks. So I'm guessing that was actually a dangerous place, and we just kind of looked out with our uh, our map there. Oh, that's right, we got a stat to give ourselves. Is instinct? No. What is? Is fleetness the AP thing? Yeah, we want that. AP per turn and max AP. We definitely want that. Uh, no perks to spend. Let's take a look. Did everyone else level up? That is a negatory. We have lost a few hit points, but that's fine. Because what we're going to do right now is uh, first we're going to go to the shop. And we're going to sell items. So, oh, we want to keep that switchblade. We're going to equip that. Sell all of the machetes because we don't need those. Level the shop up a little more. We're going to go into our inventory. And there should be a team repair. It takes 26 minutes. And now our stuff is all repaired. How cool is that? Now, if we um, take a look at our base here and we go to the gun range, facility level, craft level. So everyone has a small firearm skill bonus. Um, we're not going to upgrade this just now. We actually could. We have the money. But what we're going to do instead is upgrade our workshop, our crafting area. So that'll be done in 24 hours. It means we still have 600. Uh, we... Yeah, I think we're also going to upgrade our library. So they should, yep, both be done in 24 hours. So let's get back out here. Uh, do we have any more leads on allies? We do not. If that's the case, we'll pick a random district and we will start surveilling it. No noticeable crime. Okay, well, what do we have over here? Okay, we have the Church of the Exodus. Level 1. And it looks like low income. So this isn't a high priority for us to deal with. Because... With the low income and the danger level of what it means, there aren't many of the Church of the Exodus here. And they aren't siphoning off much money because it doesn't have any, like, really valuable areas to siphon money from. New stocks available in the shop, that's fine. He's still level 1, so it doesn't really matter too much. So we know the Mafia are here. We're going to go for close range. No, we're going to go long distance. Deployment. Uh, danger level 2. And medium income of cash. Uh, but we have a chance to get an ally. So we're going to get an ally before we do anything else. They are super, super useful. Okay, so we are going to investigate. Let's see if this is DeSoto again, or if this is someone I haven't met. I do not know this one. The enforcer approaches the man in the trench coat. Halting just outside our existence, her mouth flexes into a smile of the less friendly variety. Been looking for you, Case. If the casual intimidation is turning the screw on Case, he's not showing it. His manner is blasé to the point of boredom. I'd say you'd call it a day then. Retreat to whatever cockroach infested squat you scuttled out of this morning. While away the night lamenting the state of your life as you drift closer to oblivion on cheap booze, trying to figure out what started the chain of events that led you to spend today trudging through the rain looking for a low rent shamus who's getting too close to something you want to stay hidden. The big mobster is untroubled by the fencing. She too is no stranger to dealing with tough guys. You know why I'm here. That's good. I'm thinking it was the tragic death, some say suicide, of Bubbles, your first cat. All downhill from there. Funny you should mention cats, Case. Man of your wit must know, <laughs> must know killed the proverbial one, right? It died of boredom, waiting for a wise guy to get the point. Honey should mention stories, Case. Got one for you. A real humdinger. Case throws his arms wide in gesture of invitation. The enforcer flinches back, mistakenly reading the movement as a play. In a sense, it was. You're pretty sure Case was weighing the enforcer up, testing reactions. Set the stage for me. This morning, the boss called out something as I crossed the threshold of his office door. Want to know what I think he said? Everyone knows. It's the talk of the town. He wanted you to pick up that hot pink number from the Sally Ray or Summer line for him. 
cut the finest silky satin that will make the most of his ample thighs. Draw the enforcer's attention away from Ray Chase. Uh, Ray Case. Yeah, distracted. Your mind race is searching for a way to throw the enforcer off guard. She walked right into our trap case. Stick to the plan and we have her. The enforcer is distracted by your interjection and turns to face you. Uh, yeah, there's no point really. Looks like it's just a, a 2 on 1 and that guy's a spiked bat. That's nuts. I love it. Alright then, 56%, so not an amazing shot, but we'll take it. And now, Chase. I can't tell if his bike's spi uh, bike is... Wow, I know how to English, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell if his bat is spiked, or if it's just the shadows. I think it's just uh, the shadows. But let's run up. What else do you have? So, this looks like another melee guy. Fair enough. Uh, do you have enough left for a jab? No, you don't. But I do like that fight animation, and this guy is like your classic PI, which is a thing I love. It's why Nick Valentine is the best companion. Let's go for another baseball bat attack here. Oh, Jesus, that's always... I love that. Blood runs down Case's face and drips to the ground. Right eyes start at the black and nose probably broken. Incredulous. Ooh. He is grinning. He glances down at the enforcer. Jeez, what are they feeding these guys? I know my way around a brawl, but this guy... I don't know. Appreciate the help. Name's Ray Case. Sam Contino. Do you just give out your real name? We need a superhero name. Nice fakey, pal. Uh, you always this suspicious? Always. Occupational hazard when you spend your life sneaking around hotel room doors. Been hearing about an unusually attired guy bothering the mob. Why are you doing it? Wisecrack. I heard big, tough-looking private detectives who are really teddy bears keep getting beaten up. Just wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I didn't do my bit. I was thinking of adopting one. Remind me to laugh on my day off. Adoption, well, if you can convince me this is about more than a revenge trip, generalized violent tendencies, or a broken television, I might be willing to throw my hat in the ring. I'm unwilling to sit and be a spectator of the escalating violence in the city. Good people are getting hurt. I know that cracking heads isn't a smart fix, but it's fast and it seems to work. Case absentmindedly sends a hand to test the integrity of his face, groans when he gets to the nose. Gah. There goes my modeling career. Well, it's not every day you get to meet a bona fide idealist. Fair enough, count me in. So long as we work smart and don't get too trigger happy. Dude, you just brain somebody with a baseball bat? I don't know that you get to make that call. Alright, so we got a knife, we got some money, we got a bat, and we got a four smoke grenades. I was relatively sober for 10 in the morning on a cold, grey Riker City Tuesday with nothing better to do than nurse a lukewarm 50 cent coffee and watch slants of hard rain rinse gullies into the grime of my 8 story office window. With the absence of a case in north of a month, stricken by an apocalyptic hangover, the prospects for the day were roughly on a par with the rest of my life. On the upside, I was indoors, had a tipple in my gut, and if the rain kept up, I wouldn't have to pay Raimi to clean the windows this month. Name's Case. Ray Case. Licensed private investigator for the Greater Riker Metropolitan Area. If you're in the market for a Seamus, look no farther. Need a guy to shake a few trees, see if a monkey falls out? I'm in. Need someone to put the squeeze on a blackmailer for $25 a day plus reasonable expenses? I'm your guy. Remember, the first sap I take to the back of the head is on the house. Footsteps in the hallway. The snap of tall heels at the conclusion of long legs biting into cheap linoleum. I pushed the desk drawer exposing the near defeated bottle and hot loaded 38. There was no question in my mind as to which of the low end businesses in the converted tenement she was headed for. If there's one thing I know, it's a sound of a case. As soon as she stepped through the door, I knew she was trouble. The sort of trouble that has you begging for more as it drags you through the night city's underbelly. Through every mean racket on every neon-drenched back alley on a smack-bang collision course with every tough guy the city can fling your way. 
my kind of trouble. I love old school, like, noir detectives like that. There's a, a book series that has, like, a weird twist on them if you're interested in books called The Dresden Files. It is a book about a wizard gumshoe detective, or at least that's the way it starts. It's, like, 13 books long, so it evolves into something else by the end, but it is real good. Wow, this guy is, like, nuts. How many people can we have on our team? Can't have more than four characters in an active party. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I'll show you a mechanic then. We're going to get Kaya here. Is going to be our intel officer. So, what she's going to be doing is finding out intel on random things. So, she has just been told, go look at the Mafia. So, in 12 hours, we will find out some random intel on the Mafia. Pretty solid. Let's see what else we got here. We got level two, medium. Let's, uh, let's check this district out. Survivalists are active here. Cool. Level two, medium income. What's that? Crime rate is twenty six percent. Let's uh, let's go for a mission here. Let's bring our new guy, our gumshoe. We so we now have two melee and two ranged guys. Let's see what we can do about these survivalists. Attempting to use firearms or explosives when adjacent to a melee, yeah, you, you basically have a chance to be interrupted. Uh, sure, we'll use our skill. Put him out there, we'll put us there. Did that slightly wrong, we want one melee and one ranged on each side. Well, here we are. Let's get our handgun. 41% on Christoph Walker. That is a miss. Let's get out uh, this way. I think we might want to get guns for these guys as their backups. Just so they're not stood waiting for as long as they have been. Now we're going to have to waste most of this guy's yeah. AP running him along. But he doesn't have a sight anyway, so we're just going to put him in overwatch. And then the Lord of Flames over here. Yeah, I'm on it. So this looks like another melee swarm. Oh wow, I think we actually just took our overwatch shot from a bajillion miles away. I wonder if there's a way to like set a threshold so that you don't take really unreasonable shots. Given the choice, I would limit my overwatch shots to like 50% or greater. 46% on Amos Anna Simmons. That is a negatory. I, I wonder if I can overwatch with a bat. It's worth finding out, right? No line of sight, no line of sight, no line of sight. Okay, overwatch it is. Uh, yep, you get here and overwatch there. I wonder if there's a penalty on overwatch. I should have checked that. Would have been good information to have before I started using it. Uh, just says enter overwatch it doesn't give me odds uh, what's our odds here no line of sight really crappy so we'll go for an overwatch there as well uh, I think we're good there we should be able to actually start doing some damage now Christoph Walker first one to take damage 9.8 uh, a lot of waiting at the moment Medkit. Huh. We might have to reposition ourselves a bit. Get another gun on that left side. Like, I think that's what we're going to do. There's just a load of people there. We're going to reposition over to this yeah. side to help with the uh, oncoming horde. To take our shots. Anna Simmons and Christoph. You know what, Christoph? We don't like you very much. Take another one. Flat 10 damage this time. And we'll get the Lord of Flame with his bat ready. Okay, so Overwatch does work with melee weapons. Good to know. We can use that to uh, bottleneck enemies.
Alright then, let's see. We got 74% uh, on Anna Simmons. Solid connection. Eye for weakness. I guess that means he gets to uh, hit people who were already wounded. Oh, Jesus. That bat is just lethal. 67. That's a miss. The bullet wizard not doing his thing. We'll start running up on this gun guy because he does have a gun, so we just want to get in his business. Did you just put your way up? He put away his hammer. I guess he didn't have enough AP to use it. get around and help the Lord of uh, Flame soon. But for now, let's get on Anna Travers. Command opposing forces getting the better of us. Yes, we are. Oh, evasion. Well done, you. But I guess we can still, uh, still just punt you with our cheap loafers. And then... Oh. Oh, by the way, I found out that the uh, lethal thing is over here. Right now, we're going for wounding shots, not kill shots. That's why we get the interrogations. Now we can step around this corner a bit and uh, make mincemeat of your noggin. That wasn't very nice. Apparently, the Lord of Flame is also the Lord of Magnetically Dodging Bullets. Sinaid Freeberg. That's an unusual name. I'm not sure where this game's set. I don't know if it's like a fictional nation or if it's like the developer's nation or... I'm going to say it every time, but I love that baseball bat. That is very satisfying. We're going to start running around to help the Lord now. Yeah. Have you been saved by the Lord of Flame? Oh. Then I guess we'll, uh, we'll finish him off with a little love tap. That guy again, just uh, really into his jogging around. Doesn't know what to do with himself. So we'll make that decision right. for him and start chasing him down. Sure thing. Let's see, what's our chances here? 54%. We might as well take that. Solid. Let's uh, move the yeah, I'm Lord up here. Do you have enough AP for your bat? You do. I'm not sure if the AI is kind of jank, and that's why these guys keep running around, or if they just legitimately have no idea what to do in this situation. Solid damage there. Uh, only two AP left, that's not even enough for a love tap, so we'll just uh, wait our turn. We might as well just hang around because uh, we're not getting involved in this bit now, I don't think. I cannot. Oh, no ammo. Let's go for the reload. End of the line. And yes, that was an intentional train pun. Oh, nice. You locate an enemy with the right balance of broken bones. So we're going to do some interrogation again. We're going to go for Mafia intel because we're nearly done with one of the Mafia guys. We're going to play Russian Roulette. We don't have any drugs to administer. And nope, didn't get the intel this time. That's fine. So we found a gun, some ammo. Another gun. And some more ammo. 50 euros. Solid enough start to the day. But let's, uh, let's get into our inventory here. Uh, actually, to the shop. Sell some items. We have two of these switchblades we're going to keep. Uh, we don't need another baseball bat. I don't know that I care too much about smoke grenades. That's probably a mistake. They're probably really good, and I'm just underestimating them. But we're going to get rid of them. There we are. Sell that. We're going to go to our character's inventories now. And let's see. Yeah, uh, Dimitri, you know, we're going to repair everyone's stuff. Dimitri, we're going to give you a blade for close combat. And, yeah, this guy... I sold the guns. God damn it. Never mind. Well, we'll get him a gun from one of the other people we hurt. But I guess that'll do for now. 
guess it's back to the map. Do we have any more rumors of allies? We do not. How about cash? We know... Well, we don't know anything about this place except that the uh, churches are here. So let's take another look. Danger level of one. Cash income's low. Let's check out this. What is this? Uh, it's a slum. Okay, so it's not just a, a suburb. It's a straight up slum. Danger level of one. Cash flow of low. We're going to pop back out here. Go to our team because she is going to be done. Keep looking for Mafia Intel. Meanwhile, we, I think, are going to hit this Church of the Exodus place. Just to keep our, uh, our keep ourselves leveling up. Keep our skills improving. Poor Brother Angelo. His faith was not a strong enough shield. The other church doesn't seem convinced. Maybe she skipped the Indoctrination 101, or maybe she's just new to the circus. It's security glass. The bridge has bounced off the window. The demon security glass works its chaos, blocking the hands of the righteous from the holy five-finger discount. I'm uncomfortable with assigning effects unrelated to causes. No, physics is the real criminal here. Ah, but who created physics? I don't know, but if I ever find them... I don't know. Now that you mention it, I'm a bit iffy on this whole god thing. Disbeliever! Nothing may come from nothing. The universe must have been created, and if the universe exists... The, person, the being who created it, our Lord, must also exist. Therefore, the existence of the universe, its laws, and its contents proves the existence of our Lord. Uh, join the debate. Who created God? The churches are so engrossed in the discussion they fail to register you as being outside the group. And the response is wrote, like something repeated ad nauseum in a classroom. Our Lord was not created, our Lord has always existed. If God has always existed, doesn't that disprove the idea that everything must have a cause, and if not everything has a cause, the universe could have come into being without a cause, or a creator? In short, your claim that the existence of the universe proves the existence of God is bogus. The churcher wrinkles his brow as if focusing on something small in the distance. He takes out a pocketbook, scans it for the answer to this particular theological oh shit mo uh, theological oh shit moment, doesn't seem to find anything, starts getting mad, kicks the pocketbook over a wall, Screw this, I'm gonna be you. Me too, this is bullshit. Uh, no, we're not gonna reposition. Oh, that's right, we can level up. Uh, what do we have? We have four points. Let's, uh, let's up our firearms. Let's, let's re really kick some butt with that. 64, oh, nope, we want, we want our pistola. 62% on a snap, 73%. I think we're gonna take that 73 with a Schneider. That's a miss. Unfortunate, but we can live with it. We're then going to get our overwatch going on with our uh, dudes here. What's back here? Ah, we have more dudes back here. But they're a couple of turns away, so for now, we will focus on the numerous enemies in front of us. And I think we're going to go for uh, this guy again. Or, no, she has, he has a slightly better chance over there, so there we are. Solid hit. Then we'll go for our overwatches. We can use an incendiary grenade to slow down the guys behind us when they get close. Looks like a lot of melee again. So with us, I think we might, uh, yeah, 85%, let's pop this barrel. We'll set this guy on fire, create a hazard that other people have to run around, which is going to make them take longer to get here. 82% evasion. Well, look at you. 69 or 62. Uh, let's go for the 62 soon as she's wounded. Nope, that's a miss. Oh well. 85%. Oh. Looks like she managed to uh, stay on her feet. Kudos to you. We've probably got one or two more rounds until these guys need to be grenaded. Solid interrupt there, so we got a free attack for nothing, basically. That guy's on fire, so he's just going to run around. Like I said, these guys now have to run around the long way, so we've earned a turn or two reprieve there. 
let's see, can we finish this guy off? Yes, we can. 14 euros from a dead man. It's a tough life. Eye for weakness, let's uh, finish this guy off. Hopefully. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 58%, 59 uh, Yeah, you're still our best bet, so let's... Nice. Guess we'll have the Lord of Flame come over this way to start getting ready for his... Uh, brawl with these guys. Now that we can divert our attention a bit, we don't need to um, use the incendiary grenade. We can hold on to them for a later time. We can pop some damage here. Ah, my pancreas. Well, I, I don't even know what a pancreas does, but I'm fairly sure it's not that important. Oh, look at you. Well, still sucks to be you. Yep, we're going to get kicked, but that's fine. Is that... Oh boy. I think we might have to nap after this. Well, he killed his own guy. And we're still mostly okay, I guess. So let's... Finish this woman off quickly. I hope. Get over in these guys' faces. There we are. Yeah, I'm on. So we're in their grill now. Hopefully that means they're just gonna try and Yep, engage us in melee. Oh wow. Oh we got injured. That's unfortunate. Time to um, slowly creep forward while putting down our best shots. That's a miss. Solid hit there, though. Yeah, do it. Fifty-five percent there. Not our most amazing odds, but uh, I guess we have been hurt. These guys seem to be significantly tougher than the regular gangbangers we've been up against. These crazy cultist robes they're wearing are probably, uh... Maybe they have armor. Oh. Oh, bleed it. I don't like that. Got it. Nice. Solid damage. I wonder if his eye for... Oh. Ronan. What is Ronan? Does that mean they don't have a leader anymore? I know there is leadership bonuses, so maybe Ronan means they don't get those. Yeah. Stop making me bleed. Especially my own blood. Got it. Well, this guy thinks everyone's aliens, right? So. Sure thing. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I just thought I'd bring that up again. Oh, wow, you're uh, not doing too hot there. Oh, we need to reload. Do we have enough AP left to shoot? Negative. Nope, we'll have to go for a snapshot. Still a 60% shot. Oh, wow, we're not doing too well here. But there it is, there's the win. I think he just leveled up in close combat. And nice, because we've been using the non-lethal means, we have another chance at interrogating someone. We're going to go for our Mafia intel. Nice, so... Sister Bikas reveals... The city district Pete Esposito, a Mafia lieutenant, operates from. You can now confront this adversary. We're not ready for that yet. That's one of the, the crime bosses. And I think we'd get our ass kicked if we tried that right now. But we're finding some cash and some things to sell. But we do need to now do a quick hospital visit because one of our guys has a sprained ankle. Level 1 injury, 200 cash, we'll fix it, what was that there, I consider that a pretty solid investment, oh, and we have news of potential allies, 
But I think, folks, we're going to find that potential ally in the next episode. As usual, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.